This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koto and welcome to Backgammon in about 3 minutes. It has no solo mode, it's a game for 2 players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. In one form or another, backgammon has existed for thousands of years. In it, you will roll dice and try to maneuver your pieces off the board before your opponent. This deluxe board was provided to me by Mastermind.com. To check out their deluxe gaming boards, follow the link in the description. The game ends once one player has removed all their checkers from the board. A match ends after an agreed upon number of points have been scored by one player over multiple games. Dice. Each turn you will roll dice and move your pieces. Push your luck. You can use the special doubling dice to gamble for more points. Player turn. Set the board up like this with players sitting on either side. We are playing the cream pieces. Our goal is to move all of our pieces clockwise to this corner of the board and then remove them. That area is called our home board. The black player's goal is the inverse of ours. You start with each player rolling a die. If the result is a tie, re-roll. The player with the highest roll goes first and then uses the result of these two dice for their first turn. Each die is used to move a checker that many spaces clockwise towards your home board. Here we use this two on this checker and move it. There are some limits to movement. For example, this five would move us to this area where black has stacked their checkers. If a space has more than two opposition markers, you cannot end a checker's movement there. We could however use the five on this piece, and that would let us move past both big stacks of black checkers. Black rolls two dice and goes next, and uses the five to move on top of the solitary cream checker we moved earlier. This is bad news for cream, and that checker is removed from the board and placed on the central bar. Black then uses the one to move on to a big stack so they are safe from being bounced to the bar. Cream's first action on its next turn must be to bring that checker from the bar back onto the board from their starting point. Black then rolls a double three. Doubles are a big deal as you can move four times the value shown on the dice. In this case, Black moves two different groups of checkers three spaces to keep them protected. Now sometimes you cannot make a legal move. Here we have a double six, which is normally amazing, but as we need to move our checker off the bar first, and Black is in the sixth spot from our start point, we cannot take any actions and forfeit our turn. Once all your checkers are on your home board, you can start the end game. This is known as bearing off. You can move your checkers off the board with dice rolls, and excess amounts of movement don't matter here. For example, rolling this 5 and 6 just means you move your leftmost pair of checkers off the board. If you win the game, you score 1 point. If you win without your opponent getting any pieces off the board, you score 2. And if your opponent also has a piece left on the bar as well, you score 3. You may use the doubling dice at any point you may offer it to your opponent. This acts as a score multiplier for the final score. Each time it is traded back, the multiplier increases. When offered, that player may choose to end the game instead and give their opponent half the value of the dice and points. Why would you like this game? Backgammon is an ancient game when people talk about old classics it's normally mentioned immediately after Chess and Go. And that's because it's a global game with a fan base in the millions with a staggering amount of games played online each and every day. And that's because it's both simple and tactical, and expert players are very sharp at it. Some modern board gamers might look at it and call it a dice chucking luck fest, and I suggest anyone who thinks that go take on some top tier players online and get an education. For me, Backgammon is an excellent game about tactical area control and managing risk. Oh, and while you can get a fancy board like this one, it's free to play online, and a toy store set will cost you very, very little. The oh, best thing about this game is knocking someone else's checker back to the bar. It's super satisfying. However, the end game can sometimes suck. The things I like in this game are the positional battles in the early and the mid game, but in a close game in particular, bearing off just becomes a race, and as a result, close games can be a little frustrating. But this is part of an ongoing series of classic game recaps that started with chess in 3 minutes. And for a modern classic, check out Catan. Backgammon, not the bad kind of gammon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.